Have you ever considered how the quality of the equipment you attach your transceiver to affects your transceiver's performance? We have, which is why over the last 25 years we've been developing and perfecting our own range of deployment machine options to suit most vessel types. These have been designed to provide survey grade rigidity, maximising system accuracy. There are four types of deployment machine available. The first of these is our through-hull deployment machine. It consists of a hydraulically operated pole, a sealed bearing section and a sea chest service section with inspection door. The whole machine sits on a gate valve with the whole arrangement sitting on the through-hull penetration pipe. Owing to its more complex nature and size, this setup is typically integrated into new build vessels. However, many have been retrofitted where there is appropriate space. The second type of deployment machine is a somewhat simplified version of our through-hull deployment machine designed specifically for the offshore support vessel where space is of more of a premium. As a result, this deployment machine is intrinsically lower cost without compromising on performance. The through-hull deployment machine uses an Inconel clad steel pole for fantastic corrosion resistance. The OSV machine uses a stainless steel pole providing good corrosion resistance but at a lower cost. Both machines can be controlled from a main control unit, local control unit or an optional bridge control unit. Both machines offer the option to have remote gate valve actuation. The machines can be supplied to whatever type of approval is required for your vessel as well as type approved DN350 and DN500 gate valves. When cutting the hull is not an option, we have our over the side deployment pole. This is the perfect solution for vessels of opportunity or for smaller support vessels. Made from high grade steel, the highly rigid pole has been designed with a helical strength running up the entire submerged section of the pole. This reduces the chance of vortex induced vibration which can reduce system performance and lead to pole failure. The pole is made from three metre sections, allowing it to be adjusted in length for the vessel it's being installed on. Typically, the pole is supplied as a 9 metre or 12 metre length with a deck mount pivot for easy access to the transceiver. For vessels where the drop between the deck and the waterline is greater than 3 metres, a hull mount pivot can be supplied. To protect the pole from corrosion, it is made from hot dip galvanised steel coated in a two part marine epoxy. The deployment and recovery of the pole is left down to the vessel, but this is typically done using the vessel's crane or a third party winch fitted to the over the side pole. The final type is our through tube deployment pole. This variation on the through hull deployment machine has been designed for vessels where gate valves and over the side deployment are not viable or practical due to size and space. Just like the over the side pole, the through tube pole also uses a helical strake to reduce the effect of drag and vibration. The same steel finishing process is also used here too. And the through tube pole can normally be retrofitted to most vessels. If you'd like to know more about our deployment machine options or to discuss a particular project, please get in touch.